Okay, I figured I'd do another vacuum collection update video. I haven't done one in probably two years at least. It's been probably two, two and a half years. It's been a while. I think 2021 was my last time that I've done a collection update. So I figured I'd do that for you guys today. So we'll start over here in the garage. Here is this Electrolux Model 30 from, I, I'm going to say early 50s because it's got the blue pattern on it, which is something that the very late ones had. We go over here, we've got this Hoover Quick Broom with the power nozzle. Come over here. We have this Dirt Devil Hand Vac. This one is a... What are you? This one is a model 8100. This is like a later version, I think, but not super late because it's still got the, what I call the chef's hat, the chef hat shaped bag is the best way I can describe it. It has a bunch of uh, accessories, and it still has a paper bag, which is nice. I really need to bring that inside, but then over here we have my Amway CMS 1000. The only reason it's out here is it the belt broke, and it's taking up space. Uh, I might sell it. Here's this uh, Kenmore Elite Direct Drive. It's in kind of rough shape. It Honestly, it doesn't look bad on camera, but trust me, it's got quite a bit. It's it's pretty rough. Um, it needs a bit of attention, but there it is. It's kind of nasty, too, but it works good. There's my Panasonic Performance Plus Platinum, which is just a jet flow. There's my Dirt Devil Stick Vac Plus. There's my Wind Tunnel Self-Propelled. It's a wind tunnel ultra. I need to bring that inside as well. Here's my Eureka Envirovac. I just need to clean it up and then I'll bring it inside. Here's my Royal 887. I'll have to make a video on that one for you guys. Here's this wind tunnel, this Hoover wind tunnel, a regular one. It's a tempo style. I need to clean it up as well. Here's this Rainbow SE. Uh, it doesn't turn on for some reason, so I need to figure out what's wrong with it. And then we have this all-original Kirby Model 512. It's just kind of crusty and needs to be cleaned up. There's no cord, so I guess that's the only thing not original about it. It doesn't have a cord, but that's all right. It does power on, and it works pretty good. Here's this... Kirby Model C, uh, the handle's not original, and then, the, of course, the bag and wheels and everything, basically, the bumper, the wheels, the bag, and the entire handle is not, a, is not correct, but at least it's a Model C, and eventually, whenever I have enough money to get it restored, it's going to be beautiful again. It's got the really rare brass cover which is something that my other Model C did not have. It had the Bakelite cover, so I think that's really cool. And this does have an original 500 grip, so I could save that for a 500, I find. So then we'll move over here. We've got this Kirby Tradition that uh, I think I'm going to give to my friend Peter because he's been after her tradition. I just need to find an mTOR and a light lens for it. Here's this uh, Kirby Heritage 84 with a Heritage 2 nozzle. Here's this Kirby Classic 3 with a Heritage 2 bag and a Heritage handle. These two machines are going to somebody. I'm going to be trading them for another machine. Here's this Rainbow D2. The only thing it has, though, is the hose. It does work, it's just a little rough. Then here's this Dyson Ball Multi-Floor. It's not really a part of my collection, but see, I saw this at Goodwill, and there's the price, $5, and I thought, ooh, I see dollar signs. I can easily 
flip that and sell it for good money. So that's literally the only reason why I bought that. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, I forgot. Here's this uh, Hoover Porta Power that I still need to show you guys. Porta Power QS Quiet Series. It's come. It came with a bunch of attachments, two hoses. And then here's my Auric Buster Bee that I inherited in February. So, and then we just got a bunch of Kirby stuff here, shampooer, shampooers. I need to bring all that inside at some point. So, that's everything in here. We'll move on to the next part of the collection. Here we have my Dyson Outsize Absolute. It's a really good vacuum for quick cleanups and it's really, it's actually quite a good vacuum. I've been really impressed with it the past year I've had it. Um, I did have a V11 outsize before this one, but that belongs to my friend Lawrence now. Feel free to check that out. So moving on to the next stuff. Here we have my 1997 Kirby G5 Golden Trophy in mint condition looking beautiful now we'll move on to the basement all right so now to the main part of the collection we've got this hoover steam vac the model is if i can get to it this is a an f5883-900 it's a really nice uh shampooer uh, i really it works really well, and I'm glad I have it. And then right here we have this Dirt Devil Hand Vac, model 515. So this is a Dirt Devil Hand Vac, model 515. And then I guess I'll move that for a second. In here we have this, uh, we have this one, which is a... Dirt Devil Hand Vac model 513. Kirby, these all sound like Kirby model names. All right, we have this old uh, Universal Hand Vac here. I haven't tested it. Neither have I tested this GE Deluxe Hand Vac, which looks identical to... I've had two Premier Spic Spans in my day of collecting so far. And this looks identical to those, other than the outer bag having a different color and pattern. Here's this Royal Pro Series hand vac. Let me see if I can get a model number for you. Just got to get the cord out of the way. This is a model... One tw no, 533... Royal Pro Series Hand Vac Model 533. So we have this uh, Stark Royal 4000. Very powerful machine. Now this isn't in my collection either, but this is going to a, a good friend of mine. He'll be trading me something for it. So this is a Hoover Model 29. Cord is extremely brittle on it. And there's no bag, but it's in good shape and it runs great. So, anyway, so we have this Hoover Model 61. Beautiful Hoover. The uh, handle was bent when I got it in the shipping. Like, shipping caused damage. You can still see damage right here. Like, it's still not perfect, but I was able to... It used to be twisted and bent that way, so it was like that. But I was able to bend it back pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's as good as it's going to get. And then we got this uh, really nice Hoover Convertible Model 584. Barely used at all. Like, it's in incredibly good shape. And then we have this Lavex P101 Janitorial, which is just a... This one in particular is basically just a Sanitaire SC-886 clone. Then next to it, we have this Kenmore Elite. All floors, if I remember correctly. Yeah, all floors. This is the belt-driven version. 
you guys saw the direct drive in the garage earlier in the video. All right, right here we have this uh, Sanitaire SC688, which if you guys haven't seen the video of it I made pretty recently, I put a Kirby fill tube in it, so it's got a lot more airflow now. Here's this Montgomery Ward SP8804. It's just a a 90s, 80s or 90s Eureka. We have this uh, Hoover Elite 2 Total System Performance 430. This one has all of the attachments and the sticker. Here's another Hoover Elite 2 Total System Performance 430. This one is missing the sticker and all of the attachments. Both are in good shape and work pretty well. Right here we have a Hoover Elite 600, a Hoover Elite 5.2, a Hoover Sprint, Childhood Back, Hoover Runabout. Then we have my Luxes. We have my beautiful Turquoise Electrolux Model G, my Electrolux Model 1205, my Electrolux Diamond Jubilee, and my Aris Lux Guardian Platinum. <laughs> right here we have, this is not in my collection. This is also going to a friend of mine. This is a Kirby Dual Sanitronic 50, but with Sanitronic 7 parts on it. I call it the Dual Sanitronic 7. Here is this Lindhouse Activa 30. Works really well. I like how well it filters. The Guardian Platinum filters very well, too. Okay. <clears throat> Up here we have some more hand vacs. We have this... Uh, I'm going to have to grab these out for you. We have this black Dirt Devil hand vac. This one's a dual speed. In fact, it's some of uh, that... Pro Series is a dual speed as well. This is a model 8100. This one's act. This one actually is a childhood vacuum as well. We actually had one of one exactly like it. This is a green Dirt Devil Plus hand vac model 8510. Um, I used to have a later version, which was just like this, but with that cover. Then we have two Royal Prince handbacks in here. We have from different years. Both of them are model 501s. Both of these hand vacs here. This one's older. This one's this one's from like the 50s, and then this one's from the I want to say the 70s. This one's got like an old rubber grip on it. This one's got the vinyl grip. Down here I have two Dirt Devil hand vac model 103s. This one I inherited back in February, and then this one is new in the box still. It's brand new. There are those. All right. Now we're moving on to all of the Kirbys here. So we've got this... Another machine that's going to a friend of mine. This is a Kirby, a 1946 Kirby Model 505. I'm trading it for a Kirby Model 508 from 1948 that's all original. Then right here we have my, <clears throat> we have my custom 1961 Kirby Model 561, which last time you saw this, it had a tubular handle like this. It now has a Classic 3 handle, which is really nice upgrade next time you see it it will have new bearings <clears throat> then we have my 
all original 1962 Kirby Model 562. My all original 1963 Kirby Sanatronic 7. My completely 100% factory original Kirby Model Dual Sanatronic 50 from 1965, complete with the bag tag. My all original with new parts. 1967 Kirby Dual Sanatronic 80 with the bag tag and a new old stock original bag. My 1970 Kirby Classic 1CR also with the bag tag. It was factory rebuilt in 2012, I think. But I've put original bag and the tag on there and it has a metal fan. Um, people have said before that this is an Omega. It's not. This is a Kirby Classic 1CR. The only reason it has the Omega decals is because it was rebuilt. Kirby doesn't make the non-1CR or the, the non-Omega decals anymore. They just make this one for both. Here's my 1973 Kirby Classic Omega, which is all original. We'll go over here. I'm going to kind of go in a weird order. There is my 1979 Kirby Tradition with a new old stock shakeout bag. My 1980 Kirby Tradition with an upgraded disposable setup. This uh, 1981 Kirby Heritage, which is going to a friend of mine. This 1983, I think. Yeah, 1983 Kirby Heritage. <clears throat> a 1985 Kirby Heritage 2 with a small nozzle. A 1986 Kirby Heritage 2. Another 1986 Kirby Heritage 2 with a small nozzle as well. <clears throat> a 1987 Kirby Heritage 2 Legend with a small nozzle. A 1989 Kirby Heritage 2 Legend. This one was my great-grandmother's. Another 1989 Kirby Heritage 2 Legend. A 1990 Kirby Legend 2, which has white attachments. Then we'll come over here. Here's this 1989 Kirby Legend 2 with maroon attachments. This is the Kirby I've had the longest ever <clears throat> since March 2013. Here is this 1980, 1986 or 7 Kirby Heritage 2. That has been dressed as a Kirby Heritage 84. And then we have over here this 1990 Kirby Generation 3. Another 1990 Kirby Generation 3. This one's been upgraded. It's got Ultimate G internals and some other newer stuff on it. <clears throat> Here's this 1991 Kirby Generation 3. A 1994 Kirby G480th Anniversary Edition. A 1995 Kirby G4 that's been upgraded. It's got newer stuff on it as well to make it better. 1996 Kirby G4. My near new 1997 Kirby G5. Everything on it's brand new. I just need to repolish the metal. A 1999 Kirby G6 that's in pretty, that's in very good shape. Still with the original bag tag, and I have both of the limited edition handles for it. <clears throat> then the next row over here, we have this kind of sorry looking Kirby G6 that I have on eBay. It's kind of Frank and Kirby ish, but it gets the job done. I just, I, I, I need it gone. It's taking up too much space. My 2000 
to Kirby Ultimate G. Here's my custom build, the Fever Dream, as I call it, which is a mashup of several different Kirby models. <laughs> my 2004 or 5, I can't remember. I think it's a 5, 2005 Kirby Ultimate G Diamond Edition that's got a new old stock cord on it. 2007 Kirby Centria. A 2008 Kirby Centria that my friend Lawrence customized with a heritage bag. And he did a very specific and extensive job to the motor and was able to fit a six blade fan in there. So it sounds drastically different. Here's a 2011 Kirby Centria. It just has an older bag assembly on it. And I put a metal base pan on it so it's more durable. 2013 Kirby Centria 2. And then here is a 2016 Avalier with a G6 headlight hood assembly, a G6 belt lifter, which I still need to put a black sticker on because I, I did not mean for the yellow to be with the red. It's going to have a black sticker when it's done. And then it has a Heritage 2 bag on it. <laughs> so that's all of those. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of attachments in the back there. A bunch of stuff here as well. Um, I, got, I even got a G4 era demo kit with a uh, dirt meter in there. And then I have a newer dirt meter down there bunch of parts in here a bunch of uh, Kirby parts in here and that just about does it for my collection update so thanks for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection um, any thoughts or questions or comments you know where to do that so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more